we are learning more about that mountain lion attack in El Dorado County that killed a 21 year old man. His 18 year old brother was also injured in that attack. The sheriff's office says it all happened yesterday near Darling Ridge and Skid Roads. It's an area just outside Georgetown. KCRA 3's Orco Mana joining us now from Georgetown. Orco, you do have an update for us tonight on that 18 year old victim. Yeah, Melanie, I've learned that the 18 year old who was attacked had several surgeries yesterday, but the sheriff's office tells me he is expected to survive. That's a relief for loved ones who are already grieving the death of his 21 year old brother. People here in Georgetown tell me that their hearts go out to that family. A single sliver of caution tape is all that remains in this wooded area of El Dorado County just outside Georgetown. This is where a mountain lion killed a 21 year old man and seriously hurt his 18 year old brother Saturday. Officials say they were antler shed hunting. There were two brothers, you know, and they're just trying to have a good time in the woods. And what a tragic ending. Georgetown resident Dana Scott Vickery tells me it's horrible. Something so violent happened to two people so young. I feel sorry for the family and the brothers. The one guy lost his brother and uh, you know, he'll probably have nightmares the rest of his life and scars. He did suffer traumatic injuries. The El Dorado County Sheriff's Office says the 18 year old got separated from his older brother during the attack and called 911. Luckily, he'll be OK. He has undergone um, multiple surgeries throughout the night. However, um, was speaking with one of the family spokespersons. Um, he informed me that uh, thankfully uh, the brother is expected to make a full recovery. Officials say the last deadly mountain lion attack in the county happened 30 years ago, not too far from this location. The victim was 40 year old Barbara Schoner. She was running on the one of the trails. Um, Western States runs right through that area through the on the canyon. Um, and unfortunately, she lost her life to a mountain lion attack. Experts say mountain lions attacking people is rare. They usually go after animals. That's what Micah Riley's mother was worried about. She lives right near where the attack happened. And I heard it was a mountain lion attack, so then I called her, and then she's, her dogs were going crazy, and the horses were freaking out. So then I was like, all right, I'll come out there and help you get the animals put away. Riley shares his condolences to loved ones of the brothers who were attacked Saturday, but adds that the local wildlife can be dangerous. I felt bad for the kids and the family. It's heartbreaking. But, I mean, we do live in the woods up here where you got to be cautious for it. And the California Department of Fish and Wildlife just confirmed that a lion, a mountain lion that they found and euthanized yesterday in this area is in fact the mountain lion that caused that attack. I reached out to the Department of Fish and Wildlife to ask what may have potentially caused or prompted this attack. I have not heard back from them yet. Reporting live in Georgetown tonight in El Dorado County, Orcomana, KCRA 3 News.